We intuitively know that there are many, many ways that human beings listen to one another. I see it in organizations all the time. I see it in my own personal life, of course, that one of the ways that we can listen to another human being is to fix them or to fix the problem. And it's not bad. It's not wrong. Uh, but it's one way to listen. Another way is to listen fully, just to be there completely, which reminds me of a poem I want to bring you today by a friend of mine, John Fox, and he wrote a poem called When Someone Deeply Listens to You. And the poem starts like this. When someone deeply listens to you, it is like holding out a dented cup you've had since childhood and watching it fill up with cold, fresh water. When it balances on the top of the brim, you are understood. You are understood. When it overflows and touches your skin, you are loved. When someone deeply listens to you, the room where you stay starts a new life and the place where you wrote your first poem begins to glow in your mind's eye. It's as if gold has been discovered. It's as if gold has been discovered. When someone deeply listens to you, your bare feet are on the earth and a beloved land that seemed distant is now at home within you. So there are many ways that we listen to one another. And one way is the way this poem describes, which is to listen fully and deeply. Thank you for listening. Until next time and next poem.